born in Cape Town in 1956 and growing up in the Eastern Cape, Nosivu Mapisa Ngakula is the first speaker of the National Assembly to be arrested. She resigned as an MP and the Speaker of the House on Wednesday, citing her wish to safeguard the integrity of Parliament. A teacher by profession, Mapisa Ngakula matriculated from Mount Arthur High School in the then Lady Frere, she played a crucial role in the establishment of the East London Domestic Workers Association in 1982. During the fight against apartheid, she left South Africa and was in exile in the early 80s and had military training as an MK combatant in Angola and the former Soviet Union. Mapisa Ngakula returned to the country in 1990 after the unbanning of all political formations and the release of political prisoners. Back in the country, she worked for the newly relaunched ANC Women's League as a national organizer and was also elected as a member of its National Executive Committee in 1990. She succeeded Bale Gambete in 1993 as Secretary General of the ANC Women's League, serving under the late struggle veteran Winnie Madikizala Mandela at the 2003 ANC Women's League's fourth national conference at Nazarek in Johannesburg, Mapisa Ngakula was elected as the league's president. It is possible to be, a great, to be great in stature and yet humble and ordinary in the eyes of even those that depend on your leadership. In government, Mapisa Ngakula started as a backbencher after the April 1994 elections and chaired Parliament's Joint Standing Committee on Intelligence from 1996 to 2001. The same year, she became the chief whip of the ANC in Parliament. She also served as Deputy Minister of Home Affairs under the late Prince Mangusu Tubutelezi. Her rise to the executive started during former President Thabo Mbeki's tenure and she later became Minister of Correctional Services under former President Jacob Zuma. And will obey, respect and uphold the constitution and all other laws of the Republic. And I undertake to hold my office as minister with honour and dignity. Mapisa Ngakula was later moved to the Defense and Military Veterans Portfolio in 2012. Although serving in Parliament without any controversy, she came under fire following the controversial landing of the Gupta family's private jet at Waterkloof Air Force Base in 2013 in a serious security breach. The recent unauthorized use of the Waterkloof Air Force Base for private purposes. In the same year, she was also in hot water for using a South African Air Force jet to transport members of her political movement to a meeting in Harare. President Ramaphosa relieved Mapisa Ngokulo of her duties as Defense Minister in August of 2021 following the July unrest. It was found that government's response in dealing with the riots was slow. She was later appointed as the Speaker of the National Assembly. This is particularly an emotional occasion for me, seated amongst you in those benches during the proceedings and the elections. I sincerely felt humbled to have been nominated as a candidate for the position of Speaker of this August House. But on Wednesday, the 3rd of April, the curtain closed on her illustrious career. She resigned as the Speaker of the National Assembly and Member of Parliament. On Thursday, she handed herself over to the police and was charged and released on bail of 50,000 rand. She will be back in court again on the 4th of June. Ntant Katlani, SABC News, Johannesburg.